Parashat Koch, Aliyah Shvi, the seventh Aliyah, we learn such a fundamental lesson. I love this. In this Aliyah, we learn about the concept of supporting the Kohanim, supporting the Levi'im. A person has to give a ma'asel, he has to give a tenth. Back in the day, most people were farmers, they had tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, scallions, onions, potatoes. So how are you going to support the Kohanim? You know, they have to eat. They're busy all day, Baruch Hashem, doing you the favor and taking care of the Bet HaMikdash, taking care of the shuls, doing the Korbanot. They're your shlichim, your messengers to Hashem. Somebody has to support them. These rabbis are busy 24-7. So Hashem said in this week's Aliyah, and this Aliyah, you have to give Ma'asel. If every Jew gives a tenth of their fruits and vegetables, the Kohanim will be perfectly fine. They're going to have plenty of food. They're able to give their families and their wives and family foods. So they're able to serve and help in the Bet Amigdash. What a tremendous lesson day to day life. Every single one of us, including myself, it is very important to give Ma'asel. But the mindset has to be not that, oh gosh, I have to give my sir, I have to give tenth of my money. The mindset should be like, wow, what is the chut that I'm a giver? What is the chut that I even have the ability to give ma'asel? I had a conversation with someone like that a couple of days ago where he told me, you know, it's very hard when you make, let's say, $100,000 and you have to give up $10,000 to ma'asel. It's extremely hard. $10,000 is a lot of money. That's like a whole family trip to Eretz Yisrael, I'm assuming. $10,000 is a lot of money. So I told him, you're so funny. You rather have no money or you rather have $90,000. The $90,000 that you have after you give them a sale was only given to you because you were going to give my sale. It's like, what came first, the chicken or the egg? It's not that you have $100,000. Now you have to give a tenth my sale and now you only live with $90,000. No, the only reason why you got $100,000 was for you to give the $10,000 that said the cow. You don't know why Hashem gave you the money. It's not that you got the money, then you give my sale. It's that you have to give my sale. That's why Hashem gave you the money. It's a whole different type of mindset. Another lesson we can learn about my sale is a Hashem and Shkap. Roshem Meshkap says a beautiful mashal about giving the 10% of your money, of your wealth, every single time you make an income every month by the salary. Beautiful mashal, and I love it. He says like this, imagine you have a company, a business, where the owner hires a worker. So you know, when you get first hired to the job, you don't get the best job in the company. You have to build your way up. You have to build yourself up over the years. So he hires a new guy. He makes him, let's say he's the cashier. Okay. He sees that the guy's consistent. He comes on time. He's not late. The guy's, uh, you know doing everything correct, he puts the checks in the cash register, he doesn't steal not even a dollar, everything is calculated, he takes it seriously. He sees after one year, you know, I like this guy, let me give him a better position. He makes him, he's in charge of all the cashiers. Another year, the guy's consistent, he's doing well, he doesn't steal anything, he's honest, he's on time, he's he's chavutz, he's zariz, he's, uh, you know, he does everything fast, he's, you know, he helps out the customers, the guy does a good job, he likes him, he, then he moves him up, to a new level in the company, he gets a much better job. He tells them, I trust you so much, I want you to be the CEO of the company. I see that you worked so well, you knew how to handle the money the first year, the second year, the third year. I see that you're consistent, you're honest, you're good with money, you know how to calculate everything. I trust you so much, I'll make you the CEO of my company. Says Hashem and Shkap, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives a person wealth. He tells you here, here's a cash register, here's the money. Now let's see what you're going to do with it. If a person is really careful with tzedakot and ma'asel and not to steal and be honest in business, Hashem says, you know what, after the first year, Rosh Hashanah, are you going to get an X amount of money? After the, the next year, Rosh Hashanah, Hashem says, you know what, you were honest the whole year. You gave ma'asel, you gave your tenth of your money, you took care of other people, you gave tzedakah, you were honest, I trust you with my money. Next year, I'll give you even more money. The next year, a person gives ma'asel, he does it honest and he does it with a full heart, Hashem says, wow, look at this guy. He's so consistent, he really knows how to take care of his money. He's a good guy. He gives tzedakah. He gives him a sale. I can trust him with even more money. The next year, the third year, Hashem will give you even more money. When a person is careful with the money Hashem gives them, when a person is careful with ma'asel to give a 10% of your salary, Hashem says, look at this guy. I can trust him with the money. I can trust him with my cash register. Let me give him more money. And Hashem upgrades you to be the CEO of more wealth and more wealth in this in this world. That's why it says, give ma'asel in order to be me to Hashem, in order to be wealthy. Because Hashem watches to see how careful you will be with the money that He does gives you that year. And how do you show that you're careful when you give a 10%, 10, 10% of tzedakah every single time?